Hi, and welcome to Makeup Mug. Well, my name is Leanne. Thank you so much for joining me. I have a ridiculously big haul for no reason other than sadness. And no, I'm just kidding. Um, a couple of things come in in a variety of different ways. So we'll talk about what I've got. But upcoming is uh, Beauty Bay, Ulta, a Mercari order, a... An Easter basket. So let's talk. Let's start with the Easter basket because is my hair sticking out? Yes. Whatever. Um, every year, Mr. Mugwump gives me an Easter basket, and there are he goes out by himself and he picks everything out. And yet again, this year he has picked out things that I don't have. Some of them are makeup things, and some of them are other things. So I thought I'd show them to you because many of you enjoy snooping into my life. <laughs> Y'all some nosy heifers. So let's talk about it. First and foremost, um, I did not get a Squishmallow this year. I got eight. Many of you have seen me go on about Squishmallows and how wonderful they are. They are amazing. Um, and I love them very much. I sleep with one every night. I have them all over my couch. My dogs use them as beds. Their throw pillows here. And this is the five year anniversary uh, Squishmallow, mini Squishmallows. Um, there are eight of them. It includes uh, Fifi, Hans, Hoot, Cameron, Holly, Puff, Piper, and Wendy. And I am super excited about these. I think they're so cute and so fun. And I love him for always buying me Squishmallows because he does. He buys me. Squishmallows. Okay, the rest of the basket. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, this uh, Hello Kitty has been in this Easter basket, the same Easter basket, my dinosaur basket, for many years. Many, many, many years. So, uh, she's not new, and she will live in this basket until next year when she is needed again. So, a couple of things that he usually does do. He usually gets some kind of face masks. I love sheet masks. And this year, we also... Uh, splashed out on the bath bombs, the big old fat ones from Ulta. They're huge. Um, this is the unicorn bomb. This is rainbow sherbet. And then this is the daiquiri bomb. It's strawberry. Super excited for these. This brand, um, the bomb bath, this brand always has something inside the bath bomb. There may be a charm. Um, I have a toy alien that came in one. I have, uh, at like a lit, it looks like a lit, like a LED light cube, like an ice cube that goes in your bath that, anyway, they're fun. So they always have something fun inside. So that's cute. The two sheet masks I got this year, I got the BT21 um, Universe Stars World uh, from the Creme Shop. Look how cute. I don't know what it looks like yet, but I will be sure to take a photo and put it on Instagram so that you can be terrified, um, just like everyone else would be. And then the other one is the Hello Kitty sheet mask, ready to glow from the creme shop. Love it, love it, love it. He got me some lashes. These are the Ardell Naked Lashes. They have the invisible band, which I enjoy. They're the, the Ardell 420. And uh, super excited to wear those. Get you a man that buys you some lashes, boo. That's what I'm saying. Um, the other items are, again, don't have them. Uh, this is the NYX Marshmallow Primer and can't wait to try it. Two eyeshadow palettes in this year's Easter basket. It is the ColourPop Quad Acai You Baby, which is gorgeous. And Too Faced, that's my jam. I, I don't, I don't know how he does it. Once again, he finds palettes that I don't own. Um, and he purchases them. Look at them. Can't wait to use it. Can't wait to use it. 
There was my Easter bag. There were also jelly beans. Lots of different jelly beans this year. Funfetti uh, flavored, like Funfetti cake, but Funfetti jelly beans. And then um, Smuckers. So different jellied flavored jelly beans, which are, they're both delicious, but two totally different types of flavors of jelly beans this year. Happy Easter to all of you if you celebrate. And uh, I hope that your basket was as delicious as mine. I love Mr. Mugwump. Give him some love down below because he is the best. Okay, let's do Beauty Bay next. Can I just say that I thought that I had seen the worst of Beauty Bay boxes until this one came wrapped, completely wrapped like a mummy in Postal Service tape because the box in transit had fallen completely apart. I don't know how Beauty Bay manages to purchase boxes that will not stay shut, but they absolutely don't. And so if you are looking for, uh, to be able to reuse a box, don't order from Beauty Bay. You will not be able to, it will literally be sawdust by the time it gets you wrapped. But I purchased things I didn't need 2022. And I don't need any of these things. I mean, I don't need any, any of them. But here are the things that I didn't need from Beauty Bay. I am obsessed with their eyeshadow palettes. They're all there. And I'm obsessed with them. And so I want, there was another one that I wanted to try. I tried the sample Beauty Plush palette. I have that, those... I think I have more than one video now where I've used it. Have the hiccups again? Welcome to Makeup Moment where we have hiccups all the time. And so I had the Sample Beauty. There was another palette I wanted to try. And then I got into other stuff because as you do. So let's start with this. This is the, the Revolution Glow Body Veil Face and Body Foundation with Hyaluronic Acid and Vitamin C. This is an F2. It says it is lightweight buildable coverage. Y'all, it's a big old, it's a big old tub of it here. Um... Let's try her out when we get there. I love a glowy foundation. Let's do it. Let's, we'll put it up here on the vanity and try it sometime in the future. Highly, highly like glow on the face. So gonna try her out. There was a kit that was available and I think it was these three things. This is, was the kit that was available. So there's a lip liner, a lip gloss, and a lipstick. So here is the lip liner. It was like a, they had multiple shades variations of it so this is the lip liner in whip whip and it, it's a pencil hello and oh my dog barked there's whip recycling lives over there this is the lipstick that comes in the whip one this is freckle Apropos, it's matte. It is beautiful. Look at there. Like it. There's that bullet, or not bullet, packaging. And then the last one is the lip gloss. These are all by Beauty Bay. So they're all Beauty Bay branded items. This is the lip gloss in Mocha. Yas. So it's a little lip kit that you get. And I will use all three of those. <laughs> Wanted to try that. Not a bad smell. So, yay for those. Next up, I got a liquid eyeshadow from Beauty Bay. Hadn't tried any of these before. And so, just got one. And uh, let's see what this one's like. Okay. Hmm. Ooh. Okay, here she is in the shade iced topaz glory be okay so a flat paddle on this one. Oh, that's pretty yep just a steely glitter and glow kind of thing you know there those are nice okay excited to try those and then let's get into palettes because why not this is the sample beauty blooming lovely palette one of the shades had a moment, and so give me a second. Considering how this box arrived, I am absolutely shocked that 
nothing else was shattered. But this is the Blooming Lovely Palette from Sample Beauty. I love their formula. I think it is gorgeous. And I'm super, super stoked about using this. It's 28 shadows, y'all. Look at these. Look at these. Um, so let me, here, I'll just, we'll do a couple of, okay. That's a matte pink. Here's the blue shimmer. Okay. Here's a, here's a gold. Mm-hmm. And then, uh, here, let's do the bright yellow. I mean... This is a very colorful palette. If you if you like neutral sh um, shades, this is not going to be for you, friend. But if you like things like this, this this is probably for you, friend. Okay. I'm down for this. Sample Beauty. Try her out if you haven't already. Um, love it. We're at the end. R.I.P. of my baby wipes that I used to wipe off swatches with. So that'll go in the empties. All right. Next up are two Makeup Revolution palettes. I haven't bought Makeup Revolution palettes in a hot minute because the ones that I've bought, like bought years ago, I've, I've actually decluttered over the years. The old school ones that are like see-through on the lid, you know, the plastic ones are like seven bucks at Ulta or whatever. I've, I've decluttered those because I haven't, they weren't wonderful and they didn't wow me. And so I ended up just not using them, but... The ones that aren't see-through on it, I like these better. These are like the tin ones. I like these a lot better. Uh, I don't know if it's a different formula or if it's just the pan size or whatever, um, but these I've been um, more impressed with. I have one um, that is like the Haunted House one. I don't know if you can see. Where did I put it? Oh, it's too far up, I think. Yeah, it's on the shelf you can't quite see. Um, but it's it's got it's like from Halloween several years ago. And it's got a beautiful the artwork on it's beautiful. It's a haunted house. Um, but I have used these and like this this formula better. This is called the Forever Flawless Timeless Fantasy. And it looked right up my cool tone neutral alley. I think that's quite nice. So Yeah, these look like silly, silly me shades. Just neutrally, a little bit cooler shades. And, um, yeah. There is a shade there. It's just my skin tone. <laughs> it's just me colored. So, I very, I very much am looking forward to using that. That seems like it would be an excellent one for kind of every day. I like that it kind of, it latches in the in the tin, you know, so if you were traveling, it wouldn't be bad. It did not get damaged in the old uh, box that shredded on the way. This one was really, it was for the artwork, um, but I do like the color story. So this is, uh, my trash can's overflowing. This is Dangerous Love. Y'all look. Now, I'm not a DC girl, I'm a Marvel girl. Like, I read Marvel comics for very many years um, and love them. But, look at her, right? The color story is beautiful. I, I mean, if you like rosy, purpley, gorgeous. Cannot wait to use this. Just, it is. A, it looks gorgeous. So excited and so hopeful that that will be as pretty as it could be. It does have the names on the thing, which sucks, but I really don't call things by their names anyway. So I'm okay with that, but there's that. And then, I haven't even opened it. Um, this is the Beauty Bay larger palette that I did not own. And so let me show you how this comes. This is, this is the Evolve palette. So, book came. So it's in this, it's in a holographic gorgeous this. It comes bubble wrapped inside it. I'm so excited. Y'all, I love the Beauty Bay formula. Love it. This one's got a mirror. The first four rows, or I guess for you the bottom, but these rows are matte, these rows are shimmer. Look at that. Isn't that cool? 
I am assuming that it would be it, like the, the lid that flips all the way back and the whole thing. Um, oh, I see. They've got it labeled. Okay, cool. I haven't seen anybody use this. So think kind of Tati grid, okay? So you got one through seven at the top and then across, across, it has a label. And I know it's holographic and it's weird to see on camera, but here you go. Here's your base, transition, crease, liner, pop, highlight. Now, you can do whatever you want. Makeup has not got rules that you have to follow, but I'm assuming it would be one of those, you go down the row, excuse me, down the column, one from each row, but it also looks like you can kind of, I see many looks out of this. I want to swatch this, sorry, this, this shade here. I want to swatch that because it's me. I think it's like a, one of those weird duo or triochrome kind of, it is. It's a pink to blue to gold. I don't know if you can see the blue shift, but it's there, kids. Love it. This is the Beauty Bay Evolve palette. 42 shades. So much excitement. And then for free with this order, I got a, a Beauty Bay Disney uh, Dumbo palette. I have not, I've seen Tara Babies bought the Disney, some of the Disney palettes from Beauty Bay. And they look really cute, but I, I just haven't bought any of them myself. Um, I think the packaging is really cute. So, um, it's just really cool. You didn't get to choose. They told you you were getting Dumbo, but here are the six, yep, matte shades in the Dumbo palette. I get along with Beauty Bay mattes and shimmers. I have no problem using either of them. These are beautiful. These are beautiful. I really like that. There it is. On the back, it tells you um, what the colors are. So let's go through. Let's, let me show you what they say they are. Okay. So this is the this is Dumbo's ruffle, his hat, the sky, his eyes, his ears, and his skin. Isn't that cool? That's really neat. Okay, I like that part. So yay. There is my Beauty Bay haul. This go round. And next up, let me show you what I got in an order from Mercari. I have never purchased off of Mercari before, but I have always clicked around. I know that we've got some of our my subscribers um, who sell on Mercari. So y'all, if you do um, and you want to leave like your link or your name or whatever down below, please do. Let's, I mean, if you want to buy from somebody that pseudo friends with on the internet. Let's go. Um, <laughs> because it was, it was a, it was a pretty easy, um, experience. I had offered for this lot, like she had a bundle already made. So I didn't have to like bundle things together myself. And I was looking for, uh, I was looking at a specific brand and then she had other things. So hold on, let me grab it. So this person had, um, a pretty big, grouping all together huge box <laughs> so so some of these things I would have expressly bought individually and some of these things I'm like well since it's in the bundle sorry there's stuff everywhere since it's in the bundle I'll take it it's fine um and now that I've gotten it I'm like oh I'm excited to use these things so the thing that I was looking at was Pat McGrath and I, I wanted this one and this is the Celestial Divinity Luxe Quad in Fleur Fantasia. So this is a Pat McGrath quad that I have been looking at and stalking and wanted it, um, but just didn't want to pull the trigger on the full price of it, right? Like I just, I didn't. Um, and so it's, it's a few years old as far as when it released, but I just, I still didn't want to spend full price. And she had, she, her items are new in box, 
there you can buy them used you can buy them lightly swatched whatever her stuff was new in box and all of her stuff is new in box um and this is the quad that i got and i am so excited to use it i love lilacs i love uh, a light purple and peachy tones and this is perfect i think it's absolutely gorgeous and so this was the item that i would that was in my search the rest of these items was were pre-bundled okay so let me share with you what all came and then i'll tell you how much i paid for it in case you're nosy like that because sometimes i am too um this was something I was like, okay, I've had these and I do have these. This is a makeup eraser, like the, you know, the make the makeup, er the big one for your whole face. I will use this happily. I use these all the time. So that was in the bundle. Um, Stila got two glitter and glows, two shimmer and glows. So we've got um, the opal ice and so opal, nope. Opal Ice, Lilac Ice, Vivi Smoky Quartz, and Vivid Labradorite. I have none of those. Um, I have a lot of these as, as far as over the years, but I've never had these. I like Glittering Glows and the Shimmering Glows. I like Liquid Eye Shadows, so happy to try those. Okay, great. Um, The Rust Palette from Melt Cosmetics. Okay, all right. all right. You have the Rust Palette, brand new, not swatched. Um, and you want to sell it. Okay, cool. Uh, I do not have this palette and I was super stoked that it was in this bundle and got very excited when it got here. Can't wait for fall. Can't wait for the perfect pumpkin eye, but also just, I mean, it's just gorgeous. It's just beautiful. So the rust palette and then also in this bundle, the Lime Crime Venus One Immortals palette. Hold on, let me get the plastic off. Get out. Look at that cool tone beauty. Look at it. Would you just look at it? Stunning, right? So pretty. So pretty. I'm so excited for that. And then the Venus XL from Lime Crime. Okay. Just red, burgundy, very beautiful pink gorgeousness, right? Just beautiful. So for the bundle, Pat McGrath Quad, Rust Palette, two Lime Crime Palettes, Stila Quad Makeup Eraser, I ended up paying $80. They're all brand new in box. If you haven't checked out Mercari, <laughs> highly recommend it. Uh, I've been stalking things for a while. I've saved my searches so that I things come up when they are first listed. She listed, the seller of this listed um, the bundle at 100 and I offered 80 So um, she took my offer after probably five or six hours. And yeah, I am, I am beyond happy with the value of what I got and the number of um, I, I, don't, I don't own any of this and I'm super excited to try it all. So there's Mercari. Drop your link down below or drop your name or whatever down below and we will come check out your, what is it, closet or boutique, whatever it's called. Super excited about that. Okay, last part of the haul is also huge and I'm not sorry about it. Um, this is my, I busted all my points at Ulta because I bought a good amount in the spring sale. That haul is on my channel right now. You can go check out what I bought. But then um, I came back because something came back in stock. I'll tell you which one that is when it gets here. In a, in a shade that I've been wanting. And so I said, ooh, let me go look. And then I was like, it's time. I made that, like I made it to a marker on the points thing that I was like, it's time. So here here's my, here's my Ulta haul 
for, our, for points that I did. Um, one item came broken again. Uh, they did send out the Revlon one from the last haul. They did send that out, but they wanted, they wanted me to send it back. So I did. I sent the broken one back. This one came broken in this haul. I have sent them a picture and haven't heard anything. So this is the Flower Jungle Lights palette. Um, obviously, this is the shade that's broken. is the shade Jaguar. But um, I haven't heard back. So I am, I've taken pictures before we dumped out all the shadow. It, the shadow was all over everything. Mr. Mugwump cleaned and it's still kind of everywhere. So I'm going to be careful with that um, for now. And then, um, yeah, let me get out everything else. I had the, this is the haul that I, this, this is the bucket I put it in. Um, <laughs> this is the haul that I was like, everything that I want that I haven't bought, it's points. So I'm just going to buy whatever I want. Just put it in a cart. And so I paid nothing for this haul. Um, no actual money. This was all points. Okay. So got several palettes, including the jungle lights, but I went ahead and pulled the trigger on the Nomad. I have seen so many people use and a swatch and I've been, I mean this is one of those palettes that I have always wanted um, ever since it came out but I just never I never bought it and so I thought yes with points I will so Juvia's Place makes um, some lovely shadows I am a big fan of their formula I have several other palettes this is stunningly gorgeous and it is another one that I cannot wait for fall but this is also it would be a lovely sunshine summer palette as well and neutral. So super glad to own that. We'll be happy to make looks for that on this here channel. Cannot wait. Love it. Um, another palette. Um, this is actually, <laughs> this is an interesting one. Um, I have used to slam death the uh, CoverGirl True Naked Nudes. This is the older packaging. This is the newer packaging of that line. This is one of my favorite palettes. And so I thought, you know, I also enjoy, I really do enjoy a pinky eye. Like I, it goes well with my hair. It goes well with my skin tone. And uh, Naked 3 is my favorite naked palette. So I was like, let's, let's do this. So picked that up. Never even considered it before, but thought let's try that as well. Um, we did a Milani, it's one of the, the eye, cheek, and face palettes. Um, this one is gorgeous. It is um, so pretty. So we've got a highlighter, a bronzer, a shimmery blush, a matte blush, and then three eye colors. <coughs> of course, you could use any of the colors on your eyes, but you know what I'm saying. But there's that. We'll try that out. Hold on. We've been talking a while. Cheers for ginger ale. Okay, next palette is a BH Cosmetics palette. And it is called the Remix Dance 90s. Recycling Liz over there. 15 shadows. Stop. Stop it. First of all, the first row is a natural, natural, neutral, natural, natural uh, folks' dream. The middle row is all matte. The bottom row is all shimmer. Stop. This is so easy. This is such an easy palette. There's the matte. There's the shimmer that corresponds all the way across. And then a neutral row. This is an easy one. So if you're looking for a colorful eye and don't know how to pair, of course you can do anything you want to, but how easy would pop this in the crease, put that on the lid. Done. Done, done, done. Love it. Love BH Cosmetics formula. Super happy to have that one. Haven't heard anybody talk about it or anything, but I'm super excited to try that one um, with you. Okay. Um, Y'all, firstly, I love this. I love this brand. I love this scrub. I have a lot of them. Not a whole ton. Like some people have like whole cabinets full, right? And I love them on TikTok. I love to watch them and open their cabinet with all of them. It's wonderful. However, I can't use that many. <laughs> so I have maybe five, four, five, something like that. And I wanted the watermelon for two reasons. One, watermelon reminds me of spring and summer in the South specifically, but I love that scent. Two, it has little dark ones in there like it's seeds. You need it. Also, I went ahead and did, I pulled the trigger on another product from Tree Hut 
that I wanted to try also in the watermelon. I wanted to try the shave oil, y'all. Have you tried this? I, I looked at it in lime and coconut for a long time, but I've just never pulled the trigger. And then I thought, you know, for points, I'm going to try it. So here's what I predict is that the next time you see me, I will be in a neck brace with an arm broken. And here's why I'm going to use this, but I'll already be in the bathtub when I decide to. So I'm going to put this on my legs and my hairy hobbit toes, and I'm going to shave my body with this. And then I'm going to rinse it off. And then I'm going to try to stand up. And it is highly likely I will be in the ICU for quite a while. Just saying. Send flowers. Next up, I purchased the NYX Bear With Me Spray. Why? Leanne, when you have whole shell, shut up. This was a point, <laughs> this was a points haul. And so it didn't matter that I already had too many of them, but I wanted to try it. Y'all, I just, I just wanted, I wanted stuff. So I bought it. Here's two other things that I've been stalking for a while, but never, never pulled the trigger. Okay. They're going to last. Be careful. Um, this is the LA Girl Pro Color Mixing Pigment things for your foundation. Okay. I have almost every other brand that is offered of a white mixing pigment because your girl pale. And so I have them. I really like the... Is it Manic Panic was the first one that I got. I like the Physician's Formula Foundation Mixing Drop B Things too. So I went ahead and got this because I like it too. This is the one you mix in to make it cooler. I have quite a number of yellowy foundations, too yellowy and maybe even peachy. So we're going to try, look, we are chemists. We are scientists of cosmetics. So we're going to try it and we're going to make our own shades and try not to come out looking like a crazy person. Uh, the most expensive thing I bought was this little tiny box. Why, you ask? Because it's expensive. I bought the La Vie Estbel Lancome little tiny thing. Oh, y'all. I am not a... I am a hiccupy person. I'm not a floral person in, in scents as much as I am like sweet and other things. There's something about this. Maybe it's nostalgia. Maybe somebody in my past who was comforting to me wore this. I don't know, but it's absolutely, I feel beautiful wearing it. I don't know if you, but there's, there's that like super stoked. I rarely buy perfumes, um, from the actual company. <laughs> I like, I'm, I'm down with clone fragrances. I don't, it, you can't like patent a fragrance. So if somebody else figures out what it smells like, puts that in a bottle, they can sell it. So I don't have, I did, I was thinking about the dossier version of this because I also want the Armani my way, but I was on my points kick and I could go ahead and buy that. So I did. So there she is. Super excited to have that bougie thing. Okay. I also purchased another thing I absolutely did not need. And that is the Florence by Mills uh, marble bronzer in cool tones. And she doesn't want to open. Hold on. We're going to, we're ripping her up in her. Um, I, I have the color correcting powder. I use that on my face today for the first time. Ooh, why would they do the little glue on the back? Why Florence? Do you enjoy picking off sludge off of your stuff? Florence? Is that what we're, are we doing slime now? Why? I, sorry for the wine. I apologize. Whining is not cute. Okay. Are we done? Ooh that stuck. Okay, this is called Out of This World, like world, uh, marble bronzer. So here she is. I believe there's a warm and a cool. This be cool. Doesn't smell like anything. We'll try her someday soon. So stay tuned for someday soon of that. Next up. I mean, I just went ham. This is a repurchase, but holy Moses, can I just? So I am bushy in, in my desires. But in my practical life, I'm very inexpensive. <laughs> so, I like things that work, but I also like other things. So for eye makeup remover, and I use it every night, I put it on my little bamboo reusable washable things. And I take off my eye makeup with, and usually a bifacil, like an oil and water kind of thing. Not water, but you know what I'm talking about. Um, and you shake it up and it turns color and then you put it on your white, blah, blah, blah. Okay. So, I really love the Lancome, y'all know. I really love the Clinique, y'all know. And um, I love both of them very, very much. 
I've used a variety of other ones over the years and uh, most of them do not disappoint. This is one that I had bought on a whim quite a while ago and I'm almost done with it. This is the J-Cat Waterproof Eye and Lip Makeup Remover and it's got cucumbers on it and I didn't put two and two together. This is a cucumber infused thing. It smells fabulous and it does a great job. It's not the job, but it's only like $2.99 y'all. What I mean, what? So I went ahead, <laughs> went ahead and bought another one because I am almost out of it. It's the one I'm currently using and I'm stockpiling. I have Clinique and I've got a Lancome because some folks have sent them to me and thank you. I love them. But I was like, let me have a backup of this cheap one. Also here, the other thing that's really cool about this, just FYI, it has a lid that you pop this thing up. So if you are traveling, it's not going anywhere. Genius. It's really cheap. Highly recommend that if you want a cheap one. Okay, here's the reason why I bought all these things, but I'm not done yet, but this is the reason why. This is the email that I got that said, hey boo, it's in stock in the shade you want. And this is the NYX Bear With Me Concealer Serum in Fair. It's been sold out forever. I had it in, what, light? She not that light, NYX. So I had said, please email me. I rarely do that, but I was like, I want to, it's such a good formula, but it'd be dark. And so I was like, I want it in fair. So now I have it in both, hooray. And super excited about that. Onward, we're very close to the end. If you have been here for 40 minutes with me, I love you. Also, you probably need help. Okay, the last makeup-y product that I got is, this was because of Make Me Up Missa. Her name is Melissa, she's Scottish. She's beautiful, her eye makeup looks, well, her makeup looks in general, but her eyes, she does those beautiful, artistically gorgeous. I mean, I love to I love to listen to her. I love to watch her. I've watched her for years. She raved about the NYX Born to Glow and I was like, okay, boo, I'll do it. So this is in light ivory. Uh, I'm super excited to try that. I've never, I, it's been out for a long time. And then the other two things are like kind of weird. This one's less weird. This is the Essence Coffee to Glow Coffee Lip Scrub. Leanne, you just bought the e.l.f. one with the Duncan. I know. I bought this one too. <laughs> it's in a cardboard packaging. Uh, I'm, it, they had a whole coffee line come out from Essence. This is the only thing I was like, I really want to try that. I mean, there's other ones that I'm like, okay, this is the one I was like, yep, I love a lip scrub and I really love a lip scrub that is scented or flavored in a way that I would enjoy. And I like the coffee one. This is the last item. Buckle up buttercup. I have heard about this. And I thought, oh, we're, we definitely, anything gimmicky, anything weird, I'm down to try it with y'all because we're friends. Um, this is the Flower Jet Set Invisible Powder Spray. Oh, you're going to do it now? Yeah, I'm going to do it now. It says in the most shiny lettering ever, forget the mess, this spray-on setting powder spray on setting powder helps control shine and absorb excess oil leaving skin with a soft matte finish how to use shake me up and spray six to eight inches from the face in a sweeping motion reapply as needed to refresh and mattify throughout the day oh leanne are you about to spray a powder on your face yes Okay, we got glow, right? Of course we do, because it's me. I have no idea what I'm doing. Wish me luck, friends. This is highlighter. This is not. This is highlighter. This is not. It smells a bit like dry shampoo. <laughs> Got your Batiste, spray it on your face, girl. Okay, look at this. Okay, this is my haul. I cannot tell you how much fun that I have showing you my shopping. I don't, it's just absolutely pointless uh, for why this makes sense to both of us, but it does, and it's a relationship that we have. So I'm super glad that you got to hang out. Let's do this. Let's, oh, I lied. I am not done. Y'all, I got a free gift with purchase. 
Hold on. I hope you didn't hang up the phone yet. This is the makeup bag with um, the busted eyeshadow all over it. <laughs> Here's what we got for free with this order. I'm going to go rapid fire per use. Here we go. Uh, butter. Butter tea tree and aloe mask scrub. What? Tula probiotic. The cult classic purifying face cleanser. That's a decent size, friends. Lindsay, do you need that? Did you say that you tried Tula or that you were going to? I don't know if you're watching. Um, Vichy anti-wrinkle and firming correcting care something. Okay. Givenchy gentleman. Are you a dude perfume? It is. Okay, let's smell it. Woody floral fougere. Lavender iris leather patchouli. Shut up. Mr. Mugwump, can you come smell this and tell me if you like it? You don't have to be on camera or nothing if you don't want to. I sprayed it on the... I sprayed it on there. It's called Gentleman by Givenchy. You like it? Not as much as the... Not as much as Oriental Tobacco. You haven't heard it here first, folks. But it's not bad. It's not bad? Like, if I wore it, you'd be okay? I think it's nice. He likes the Oriental Tobacco. From uh, Dossier, which is... Tobacco Vanille from Tom Ford. Okay, onward. I've literally got three of these, and they're so good, which, I mean, I'm down for it. This is the Clinique All About Clean. Uh, it's like a foaming cleanser. It's really good, but this is, that's, I think, the third or the fourth. Burberry Her. Does it say what the notes are in this? Peony, Juicy Green Pear, Honeysuckle, Musk. We'll spray her later, because we currently smell like Gentleman by Givenchy. Um, First Aid Beauty Hydrate and Eye Cream. Oh, she little. Look, oh, baby. Um, oh, somebody needs to come take this from me. Lip Ejection Extreme from Too Faced. I don't like these. This will go on a giveaway for the future. I, these hurt me, and I think I have an allergic reaction to them. So, they're, down they go into the giveaway pile because um, I don't, it's not for me. Maybelline Lasting Fix Setting Spray. Dionys Goat Milk Skin Care Milk and Honey. No, this is fine, I'm sure. It's not that. Um, this is the best goat milk uh, hand cream in the entire world. I have no idea why. So this, um, uh, this was gifted to me. The Orange Blossom and Honey Beekman 1802 Holy Cannoli. This smells amazing and it is so moisturizing. I mean, I'm happy to try this, but boy, that smells amazing. Love that. I mean, love it. Okay. One word. Caviar. Oh, it's a hair serum. I'm like, what? Uh, <laughs> Tony Birch. Tony? Tory Birch. Uh, that's like the regular old school one. Uh, there's a Way Detoxing Shampoo. There's a Hydra Pure Hyaluronic Lip Gloss uh, from Jane Iredale. Oh, we hadn't heard from Jane Iredale in a hot minute. What you been doing, boo? Some of her products are really cool. But anyway, it's a little thingy of that. Okay, onward. Um, Not Your Mother's Shampoo Conditioner. CeraVe Daytime Facial Moisturizer. It's got SPF 30 in it. Nice. I like that. Here's the La Roche-Posay Facial Moisturizer SPF 30 in that. Here's a BioSilk. Oh, I like this stuff. That'll that'll last you a long time, that little baby. Um, the BioSilk stuff that you like put on your hair. Obviously, I need some because I'm looking rough these days um, with the hair, but it's fine. Uh, zit Sticker. Uh, oh, okay. What are you? Oh, they're little zit stickers that you put your patch on. Cute. Okay, there's that. Um, Garnier Serum Cream. Dermablend, 
something or other. Oh, jelly primer. Oh, we tried that. It's pretty good. Um, Clarins Reboost Depuffer and Hydrating Cream. Interesting. They've kind of rebranded a little bit, their Clarins. Um, Be Beauty Stat Universal C Skin Refiner, Fresh Rose Deep Hydration Face Cream, Peach Slashes Makeup Cleanser. This is the same brand that I have of the Snail Rescue stuff. I like it. It's made in Korea. Verb Ghost Oil, which I love. Barefoot Scientist High Dive Hydration Cream. Never heard of that before. And lastly, the Morphe Filter Effect um, Concealer. Oh, I did want to try this. Cool. Um, so, yeah, there's a card of that. there. Now I'm done. Now it's been 17 years. Um, for those of you who go to sleep to my videos, I hope that you sleep really, really well. I hope you have restful sleep, that you are in a deep sleep tonight, that your body rejuvenates, that your brain turns everything into short-term memory and long-term memory that it needs to, uh, that if you have restless leg syndrome, that your legs just stop. This is my hopes for you. I hope your CPAP mask doesn't leak and that you don't breathe through your mouth and have that really dry, crackly tongue when you wake up. For those of you who don't sleep to my videos, maybe you should. Um, I'm just kidding, but actually not. I go to sleep to, to some of y'all's videos all the time. <laughs> I love sleeping to a YouTube video. Do you know why? I'll tell you why. This is my secret at the very end of the world's longest haul. Um, it makes me, not makes, it allows me to think about something that I find enjoyable. Skincare, makeup, you know, nails, hair, whatever. Like I, I enjoy thinking about that and learning about that and watching things about that. So it, it brings me joy, but it also, it allows me that in a time of the day that my anxiety can take my brain to places I shouldn't be going, that I am distracted enough to listen to someone's voice talk about something that I like to hear. Just a thought. I, I wish I had known it years ago because I do every night I fall asleep to YouTube and listen to folks talk about makeup and cosmetics and beauty products. And I love it. It's everything. So highly recommend if you haven't tried that. Um, I have got to clean this vanity off. It is like a hurricane from Ulta came through here, but uh, look forward to hanging out with y'all and looking at all these products and trying them out, seeing how they do and enjoying them together. Y'all have a fabulous rest of your day. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.